Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Adidas F50 Adi Zero in the latest Supernatural colorway. Now inside the box, along with the shoes, they do include an extra set of comfort insoles to go along with the lightweight ones already inside the shoes themselves. You can see it features your Adidas branding, your Champions League branding, and it says the best of the best. Actually, the left insole is missing some letters here. You can see the T is missing and the O is missing in the and of. So a little bit of a mistake there. Um, a manufacturer's defect, if you will. Not going to affect the performance, but definitely something worth pointing out. The Comfort insole features a synthetic suede lining on top, and it's just made from a thicker, solid layer of foam that's going to provide a little bit of additional underfoot cushioning that you won't get from the lightweight insoles. Always nice to get some extras, and again, it's down to preference as far as which ones are going to suit you the best comfort-wise. Other than that, all you're going to find inside the box are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly. And in today's video, we're going to go over all the details you could possibly possibly want to know regarding the performance, the important tech specs around the F50 Adi Zero, and of course how these things fit and feel. So if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, stick around for the entire video. If you want even more information, check out the review page on my website. There's going to be a link to that down below in the description. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's talk about the colorway. Now, as you can see, Adidas is continuing on with their World Cup 2014 Battle Pack theme. The same pattern we saw on the F50 Adi Zero from the World Cup is on the Supernatural colorway here as well. So it features a white base with that Battle Pack theme over top being in a nice lime green color. And it has that little bit of extra detail in the form of some very light texturing on the surface. So it has a nice touch on the ball and it also looks really nice and detailed when you get up close on the shoe. It's scattered across the entire upper even though you do have the transition between hybrid touch and speed foil which I think looks really cool and then of course they've really introduced some bold accent colors here in the form of navy blue and vibrant pink so you're going to find navy blue with a pink underline in the adidas stripes your f50 branding on the tongue in navy blue the heel lining and insole in navy the adidas branding on the very back in navy blue of course the sprint frame is solid white to match the majority of the upper and then on the bottom you're going to find clear studs in the heel and vibrant pink studs in the forefoot so it's a pretty simple colorway it's vibrant for the simple fact that one it features lime green and all the colors that are kind of combined on this shoe are somewhat unusual you don't really see them together all that often but for me i really like the battle pack theme as it is and i think if you're looking for something unique this colorway is definitely going to do that for you so leave your opinions on it down below in the comment section do you love it do you hate it and next we'll move on to the tech specs and what you should know about this shoe when it comes to performance as far as performance is concerned, the Adidas F50 Adi Zero really does have a lot to offer, especially if you're looking for something that's going to provide that weightless sensation on your feet, but still perform the part and not lack responsiveness or stability when you're wearing it. Now, this is, of course, a synthetic upper variation. And given that this is not a messy signature colorway, the layout of the upper is a little bit different. The messy colorways you're going to find features hybrid touch synthetic across the entire upper tongue included. Um, but on this particular colorway, you're going to have a split between hybrid touch synthetic which you're going to find from this seam forward on the lateral side wrapping all the way around the toe box and forefoot area and then cutting off at this seam right here on the medial side even the lower portion of the tongue you can see it does have a split as well that lower portion is also hybrid touch it's a synthetic material from adidas that really does a good job of providing that thin barefoot sensation on the ball it's extremely soft very very flexible it's not the thinnest ultra thin synthetic currently out there on the market but again if you're looking for that barefoot sensation with a very very slight amount of cushion to it you're going to love how these things feel there's really no added grip i did mention that there is some texturing here but it's very minimal and you're not going to notice it too much for the most part especially once you've got several hours of wear time in the shoe but again if you're looking for that premium barefoot sensation the hybrid touch synthetic across the majority of the upper here is definitely going to provide that for you from the seams back on both the upper as well as in the tongue you're going to find adidas's speed foil synthetic material which in comparison to hybrid touch is a lot stiffer not nearly as flexible and it's there more as a lightweight reinforcement type of material it also is slightly see-through as you guys can see which i think looks really really cool it doesn't affect the performance it doesn't affect the comfort and again in comparison to the messy versions of the shoe you're really not going to notice much of a difference when you're actually wearing them uh, but again they do incorporate this speed foil synthetic i really have no complaints about it i guess it's a little bit stiff and rigid and uh, a full hybrid touch synthetic upper may have been a little bit better as far as comfort is concerned but again it's very very difficult
difficult to notice the difference between this version of the F50 and the messy version when you're actually wearing them and they're well broken in. So again, uh, they've incorporated these two materials to make for an ultra lightweight upper, very thin sensation when making touches on the ball. Uh, central lacing system, as you guys can see, it does have a lower cut in the heel area and ankle area. The heel lining is a nice synthetic suede material with a really good amount of padding considering how lightweight this shoe actually is. The insole is of course fully removable. They include the comfort one that I showed you guys in the box a little bit earlier, as well as a lightweight version right here. It features a mesh liner on top, perforations throughout, and it's just made from a very thin, soft, spongy, um, orange foam material. Nothing special, it does get the job done, but again, if you prefer to have a little bit more underfoot cushioning, you can utilize that extra comfort insole that they include inside the box. Again, it's just a matter of preference. There's really no better option performance-wise between the two. As far as the sprint frame is concerned, this is part of the reason why the shoe is as light as it is. This is the 2014 F50 Adi Zero Sprint Frame, which is entirely made from plastic. It features a one-piece heel counter included, rounded in shape, as you guys can see. Keeps your heel locked in place, uh, preventing it from sliding laterally. And it also provides a little bit of extra protection against kicks to the back of the heel, um, even though you're going to get minimal protection considering this shoe is so light and so thin. And then, of course, moving on to the bottom of the shoe, you're going to find your My Coach slot there for My Coach compatibility for whoever's still using those things. And then, of course, you have your triangular heel studs and then your kind of bladed triangular forefoot studs. This is kind of the first major modification we've seen to the F50 Adi Zero stud pattern. And I feel like this is the best one that Adidas has put out by a long shot. Really like how it performs. You get a good amount of traction when pushing off in pretty much any direction, but it still doesn't feel like you're locked in the ground when planted. So you have that ability to kind of twist and pivot, which again, just makes for an overall great performing stud pattern. They even have that little toe pick stud at the end, which again, you're not really gonna notice while you're wearing the shoe, but it's nice little implementation by Adidas. And again, it's just a really well thought out shoe that's extremely lightweight and performs the part. Arguably the main attraction of the F50 Adi Zero line since it first came out in 2010 is the ultra lightweight feel that it provides. So obviously it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that these are also ultra lightweight. And just to kind of reaffirm you on this, I'm going to weigh them for you today in real time. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. I'm going to throw it on the scale and you can see that these guys weigh in at 5.85 ounces. So right at that 5.8 ounce mark, it's one of the only shoes at this point in time under the six ounce mark, which is very, very impressive. They're pretty much weightless both in hand as well as on feet. And like I mentioned earlier, they feel very solid. They're extremely comfortable despite their ultra lightweight construction. And they're also surprisingly durable. So again, if you want that ultra lightweight sensation, there really isn't a better option right now than the F50 Adi Zero. All right, so here's a look at the F50 Adi Zeros on feet. And again, like I mentioned throughout the entire video, despite how lightweight these things are, they are surprisingly comfortable. Is there some break-in time? I would say yes, but it's very, very minimal. Like I mentioned, the Hybrid Touch Synthetic Upper is very, very soft and flexible from right out of the box. And give it a couple hours of wear time and it even will stretch a little bit. So if they feel really, really snug out of the box, like I said, that will change after a couple hours of wearing the shoes. Um, but for the most part, they're just very, very comfortable despite being under the six ounce mark, which is just very, very surprising. So as far as the overall shape of the shoe is concerned, it is a tighter fitting shoe as you would expect. It does have more of a slender profile about it. So if you do have really wide feet, this probably isn't gonna be the best option for you, even though they do have the ability to stretch. So again, if you've worn F50s in the past, these ones are still gonna fit you. They're gonna fit you in fact better than previous F50 models. But again, if you have wide feet and you struggle with the width of soccer shoes, this probably isn't the best option for you. As far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size nine US. And as you guys can see, the fit in the length is pretty much perfect. There's no extra space, which is how I like it. And I would definitely say that these things run true to size. So if you are planning on ordering a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going for your normal size in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right, guys, this is for my review of the Supernatural F50 Adi Zero from Adidas. Like I mentioned throughout the entire video, if you're looking for something that is ultra lightweight, essentially weightless on your feet, it's gonna provide a premium barefoot touch on the ball and is also surprisingly comfortable, then the F50 Adi Zero should be at the top of your list of shoes to consider 
at this point in time. It's really tough to compare this to anything else out there on the market right now. And like I said, it really is a top performer. If you want more detailed information on the overall performance in written form, be sure to check out the full written review on my website. There'll be a direct link to that page down below in the description of this video. Along with the written review on that page, you'll also find the high quality images of the shoe that I took myself as well as buy it now links with the best prices online along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you can actually pick these up below their retail price. So again, if you're interested in this colorway or any other colorway of the F50 Addy Zero, that review page is definitely worth checking out. Again, link to that is down below in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment down below and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. Now then that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.